Now, the impact of the government shutdown on the nearly 800,000 federal workers is now actually starting to be noticed by members of the Trump administration. Unfortunately, their reactions to it are pretty terrible. Uh, and so I want to give you one example here, uh, and that's Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Now, he was on MB uh, CNBC's Squawk Box uh, to talk about what people who are affected by the shutdown can do to make sure that they pay their bills while not getting paid. Let's take a look. There are reports that there are some federal workers who are going to homeless shelters to get food. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why, because as I mentioned before, they, the obligations that they would undertake, say a borrowing from a bank or a credit union, are in effect federally guaranteed. So the 30 days of pay that some people will be out there's no real reason why they shouldn't be able to get a loan against it. And we've seen right. a number of ads right. from okay. financial well, institutions doing that. Now there's Wilbur Ross. So yeah, just, uh, hey, man, if you're struggling, just go borrow money from a bank. It'll be fine. In fact, later he says, now it's true that people might have to pay a little bit of interest. But the idea that it's paycheck to or zero is not really a valid idea. Uh, look, I love this. It, this is your, they, why not, why don't they just have cake moment, right? Why can't you just take out loans? I don't understand. I don't understand why they can't do that. Well, we can pop because you schmuck, you're a billionaire. Of course you don't understand because you don't know what it's like to live like the, uh, the rest of American. Okay. You, you don't live paycheck to paycheck. By the way, a little bit of interest uh, might be the difference between putting gas in your car and not being able to. Just saying. And why should they have to do this? Why should they have to go to food banks? Why should they have to consider taking out government loans in order to survive? Why should they have to do that? Uh, is it because of that stupid wall, right? Most Americans don't want to shut down the government over the wall. Most Americans disagree with the entire reason of the shutdown and completely disagree with the shutdown itself. So take that, but leave it to the most out of touch people to try to give advice to people who are currently working and not getting paid for it. We have a word for that. Now, of course, the backlash to this is absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna give you uh, some quotes here from some politicians. We'll start with Nancy Pelosi. She characterized this as a quote, let them eat cake attitude. Mm. She said, quote, he said he doesn't understand why they have to do that. I don't quite understand why as hundreds of thousands of men and women are about to miss the second paycheck tomorrow. Mm. Chuck Schumer, uh, with a little bit of clack back of his own, he says those comments are appalling and reveal the administration's callous indifference toward the federal workers it is treating as pawns. Secretary Ross, they can't just call their stockbroker and ask them to sell some of their shares. Oh, that's good. Coming, you, you just got burned by Chuck Schumer. Oh, what a sad day for you. Oh, that looks terrible. And look, Chuck Schumer would know because Chuck Schumer is pretty wealthy. And he's like, hey, you just can't call your, you know, these people just can't call their stockbroker like you and I can. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's pretty out of touch, man. <laughs> oh, when Chuck Schumer points out how out of touch you are, again, ooh, that's bad. Now, we have Senator Bernie Sanders that chimed in as well. Uh, now, he tweeted, Billionaires like Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross and Trump may not get it, but it's not complicated. Federal employees go to food banks because they have to feed their kids, and they can't do that without a paycheck. Mr. President, end the shutdown you created. That's uh, fairly to the point from Bernie Sanders, of course, who actually does understand, as he's the poorest uh, senator in the country. <laughs> uh, now, even you even had CNBC's Jim Cramer. Now, Jim Cramer, again, is one of the hosts of Squawk Box or something like that. Uh, one of those shows that rarely talks about actual money, but mainly complains about poor people and etc. Well, even he was like cringing. He said, quote, I thought that was painful, painful. 
How could you be that out of touch with people who live paycheck to paycheck? How could you be that out of touch? That's freaking Jim Cramer handing you your ass. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> uh, and you know where it comes from? It comes from being a billionaire who never has had to think about never having money. They've never had to worry about, oh man, how am I going to pay these bills? Again, Wilbur Ross is a billionaire. You don't even need that money. That much money. You will never be able to spend it in your entire lifetime. Which, by the way, Wilbur Ross looks as if he's about at the end of that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I mean, here's the thing. Why can't they just go to the bank? That's his, that's his question, right? Just, just take out a loan. You have to understand that these workers, once they start missing payments due to not getting paid, that credit takes a hit. That disqualifies them from low interest loans, right? And of course, leads people towards unregulated cash advance shops, which can charge an insane, insanely high interest rates. That is the surest way to get stuck in a debt cycle. But again, they don't get it because in their world, they're never exposed to the nearly 40% of Americans that cannot afford a $400 emergency without selling their stuff or having to go and borrow money from an institution, etc. So, and a lot of federal workers, as I said before, they live paycheck to paycheck. And get this, this is in the Washington Post. I'm going to give you this quote here. They said some of the president's allies have stated, have started privately worrying that the seemingly callous comments reinforce the perception that the president and his team of wealthy advisors are out of touch with the public. You don't say. It's not just a perception, Washington Post. It's reality. They've got no clue because they live in a completely different world. As I said, uh, and, and that world includes the Washington Post. If you still think these guys understand and represent you, then you may be the most dense person in the world and are likely the perfect target for some of these grifters that are in power. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.